close your eyes and remember to stay with the breath. Each time you come in, each time it goes out, you'll be right there with it. As for any other thoughts, you let them go. Your ability to remember this. This is one of the factors the Buddha says is a protector. He says when, you, when your mindfulness is rightly established, you have a refuge. And that refuge is based on two other things. One is right view, and the other is your precepts. So these three things taken together are your protection. When you have the precepts, then you can remember certain forms of behavior are wrong. So you find yourself suddenly tempted to do them. The precepts are short, easy to remember, without a lot of exceptions. And they protect you from doing a lot of the things that would cause harm down the line. As for a right view, that also protects you, because we live in a land of wrong view. Some people say there's there's no nirvana, that you just learn how to be okay with the present moment. That's the best you can do. Some people say you have no free will. All of these views are dangerous, because you end up, on the one hand, saying, what the hell, I can do whatever I want, and then I can blame it on somebody else or something else. And also you're closing down a lot of possibilities. If there's no nirvana, there's no chance for real peace. There's no chance for a real end of suffering. You're closing off your opportunities. So when we have right view that the end of suffering is possible, it can be done through our efforts. There are right actions and there are wrong actions, things that should be done, things that shouldn't be done. When you realize that, the Buddha said, you live with a protector. So you remember that and apply it to all of your actions. That way you are your own protector. You are your own mainstay. Even though we live in a land of dangers, even though our mind itself is dangerous, we can be safe.